on behalf of the Community Network Special Interest Group, our project for the Internet Society Chapterthon was to design a routing protocol for low bandwidth LoRa networks such as the Disaster Radio Network. Disaster Radio is a long-range mesh network powered by the sun. This network consists of small, low-cost mesh nodes that can be mounted on rooftops or other tall structures. Each node is completely off the grid and self-contained. Disaster radio nodes are capable of interconnecting over several miles. Add as many nodes as you want, and Disaster radio can provide complete coverage in any environment. For our Chapterthon project, we want to make this mesh network aspect of Disaster Radio a reality. We are familiar with LoRaWAN, but know that it relies on a client gateway configuration and does not have meshing capabilities yet. There are very few other Layer 2 options for LoRa networks that are both open source and well maintained. Given the limitations of LoRa networks, we designed our own network stack from the physical layer up. The ambitiously titled LoRa Layer 2 was intentionally designed for a peer-to-peer -peer mesh structured network. This new layer 2 allows nodes to relay messages intended for neighboring nodes rather than requiring a direct connection to a gateway or server. To design and test our proposed protocol, we built a network simulator that allows us to program virtual nodes just like they were real disaster radio nodes. Each of these green dots represents a node. When nodes first join a network, they enter a learning state in which they discover possible routes by broadcasting packets represented by the emojis and listening for packets from their neighbors. Ideally, once a node has a route to every other node, it can begin forwarding packets. Notice how the emojis stay the same as is retransmitted by each node in the route. The details of the protocol we developed can be found at the following link. We are hoping that this LoRa Layer 2 protocol is adopted by other projects that are harnessing LoRa technology, such as GreyCat and Project Lantern. We are also looking to expand our collaborations with Wi-Fi mesh network projects, such as People's Open, LibreMesh, and Toronto MeshNet. The next steps in this project are to generalize the code for LoRa Layer 2 so it may be tested on real devices, including our disaster radio hardware.